Well, uh, we'll play the winner of UTEP and Southern Miss. Uh, both have very good basketball teams. They're extremely well coached. Um, but like I told our players, when you go into a conference tournament, it's really all about our team and us playing to the best of our ability. And we obviously we've played all these teams during this regular season. And so now when you go into a conference tournament, your goal is to put three days together where you play your absolute best basketball. Um, your team won 24 games this year, which tied as a school record. Yeah. And won a uh, school record, 13 conference games. Right. Just talk about the accomplishment of these girls. Well, you know, it all started after last season. We met. Uh, we had ended up 15-15 last year, and we had the youngest team in the country, and they just decided to go to work. Uh, these girls lived in the gym. Uh, they committed themselves to the weight room. Uh, they took care of their bodies with their nutrition, the way they ate and everything. And, and so it's been a process of them just putting in the work. And it's so great from a coaching standpoint to see it pay off now. Even with these accolades, there's got to be a sense that there's still a lot more to accomplish out there. And yep. you know, playing your best basketball in the tournament is starts with that. Absolutely. And so we break the season down into several different seasons. You've got your non-conference season. Then you've got your regular season conference. So now we're starting a brand new season with the conference tournament. And then obviously the last part of the season is postseason. But right. right now we're going in zero and zero. And our, our goal is to go get three games. Is there a sense to kind of wipe the slate clean on the regular season and say, hey, it's great, we did this, but uh, this is, we're zero and zero, and any team can do anything when it comes to tournament time. Well, and our girls know that, uh, you know, we had three losses. It wasn't like we went undefeated. Yeah. And so they have great respect for their opponents, but they're extremely confident as well. Um, you know, obviously, you win the conference, you guys win the, the NCAA tournament, something this team hasn't done since 2000. Have you talked with the girls about that at all, or is it kind of just one game at a time? It's out there. These girls, uh, not only are they gym rats, but they love to watch the game. So all of them have grown up watching March Madness, and they, they realize what's at stake. And so I, I can just tell they're excited. It's like a, a refreshed attitude. It's a brand new season coming up. So it's an exciting time. Um, you guys are going to Frisco, Texas, the Dallas Cowboys practice stadium, and they're going to I guess split the facility in half and play two games at the same time. Is there any concern with like hearing, um, you know, whistles going off in another game? It's kind of ha going to have an AAU feel to it a little bit. Well, no, no, I, I don't. Um, when we met, when we had media day down in Frisco, uh, Judy McLeod, the commissioner of our league, just said to trust them and, and have confidence that it's going to be a first class. Uh, event and I trust them. I think it's going to be a great event. You've got the men's and women's programs all down there together. Uh, people, fans can see both games because we don't play at the same time. So let's just go down and see how it, how it is. We're, we're just excited to go. Yeah, um, it's really cool. Just my first two years here, we just kind of had average seasons and we knew we wanted more. So it's pretty cool to just be a part of history with my teammates and my coaches. Is there a sense that, you know, Yeah, for sure. I mean, every conference game is a battle, and then it's just magnified even more in the conference tournament. And our goal is to come in there, and we want to win it. So, I mean, as do a lot of teams. So it's going to be really tough to do it, but that's our that's our main goal, and focus. Um, I had to coach about this a few minutes ago, but. Um, has there been any talk about, hey, we win this tournament and we're going to the NCAA tournament? Like, I'm sure that's got to be exciting and on your mind. Kind of I, I think it's in the back of everyone's head, but this whole season we just have been trying to take everything one game at a time. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. So in the back of the, our heads, we know that that's what happens if you win the tournament. But, you know, we're just focusing on our first game on Thursday and taking it from there.